garage now and that gives us a perfect opportunity to work on some builds we've neglected. The story of the Deuce is when we finished it about a year ago, it was still about 95% done. Um, there's still a lot of loose ends that need to get tied up, although the wiring on it is super clean, uh, the paint on it's super clean, all these things. It's like really close, you know? It just needs those odds and ends tightened up. With that being said, that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna get this thing fired up. We're gonna take it for a couple of laps, even try to remember what's wrong with it, what we need to fix, because it's been that long since we've worked on it. And then hopefully by the end, we'll be ripping. All right, so this thing has been sitting in storage for so long, the battery is just completely dead and it won't hold the charge. So we have to jump it, but that's okay. We got the C10 here. And... Ah. Yeah. It was like cranking. Yeah. Dude, could the battery start? Ugh. Oh, this is something I haven't seen before. Um, when we hook up the jumper cables, it wants to start. So um, I'm thinking maybe the starter solenoid's like stuck open or something like that. Maybe it needs to be like cleaned out or something. Um, Really not sure about that. We haven't had this happen before, but we'll let you know what that is. Conveniently, we have all of our wiring parts in this box right here. So, I just have to find that solenoid. There we go. So yeah, right here. So we'll have to check the fuse and then just make sure that's uh, firing when we put 12 volts to it. And we'll see if we have a problem. So I just kind of checked the solenoid and like hit it around a little bit because maybe it was just kind of like mechanically stuck and it's all plugged back in. So we have the jumper cables running under the garage since it's cold outside to the truck and let's see if it does the same starty thing. Let's see. All right, here's the starter button. Perfect. Okay, so I literally just hit that thing on the side of the box and now it works, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so pretty good. We definitely need a new battery, obviously. The brakes are basically non-existent. You kind of just need to let it bring itself to a stop. And then the engine seems to not be running right. So yeah, I think the first thing we're gonna fix is the brakes and the battery. And then after that, we'll see if the carbs are synced and stuff like that. since we had to buy like three ninjas just to fix this one engine, we have a lot of brakes. So this is one we had and it's, you know, like, we're just looking at it, it's really crusty and it like barely moves. But we do have the new pads and we can put them on this one, which definitely looks worse, but should work better. Yeah, it's kind of sitting there. 
fine. Literally no pressure and it's already clamped, so I think it's going to be yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's not, before it was super spongy. Yeah. We have this old uh, super beefy brake cable from Go Power Sports. And this is from the paddy wagon, actually. But now we should be able to just like jam on the brakes because that one used to loosen a bunch. So this would be a lot better. All right, so our brakes are done. That should be a lot better. Nice. Cool. So we have the brake on and you know, Let's see how it goes. Yep, I'm trying. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> once we have a foot pulling on that thing, yeah, it's def it should be able to lock them up, probably. And uh, now, after this thing's in, we should be ready. Fuel line. Oh my god. Okay, that's not good. No, it's a oh, your it finger over. Broke. Shoot, the filter just broke. Well, I'm glad I stopped here. Yeah. Seems like it just started, dude. It just started. Um, so yeah, power. actually I think the engine is actually okay. Like um cool. it was running really good. The shifter is a little kinda iffy. I it popped out of gear one time. So I think literally the only thing we gotta like look at is a shifter and then this thing might be 100% done. One sec, I need Joe to get here. So. Come on brother. So can you hold this above the gas tank? Okay. All right, let's uh, try, try our best this time. Oh, shoot, 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 come on. I think gas is cheap nowadays. <laughs> Dude! This is actually a tutorial, guys. Yeah. I'm not to put in a gas line. <laughs> Shoot, man. Hey, 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 hey! We got it. Barely. Yes, sir. Nice. Yes, sir. This ain't ever coming off. All right, I'm taking a break, my hands hurt. All right, well, it was looking really good. It was looking like we were about ready to actually take this thing for a bigger rip. Um, but of course, you know, we got the fuel line fixed, Jason adjusted the clutch and stuff. And then as soon as we put it, we were trying to snap it in the neutral, shifter breaks. Um, this is the second one we've gone through. The first one we went through um, was a weaker one, so then we got a stronger automatic shifter cable, and this one broke too. My hand too.
All right, so we've been working on this thing for a long time and we actually have made a lot of progress and this is looking super solid. So we wanna make sure that the cable is going in straight. And then we also kind of modified the cable because there's kind of a, if you can see, this first part of it's solid. So all the sliding is gonna be done on the solid part. And it's kind of got this whole like box with this tie rod end. So it's all just gonna be dead straight in and out, no twisting, which was our main problem. All right, so we finally have some good news on this deuce shifter. Everything's lined up and tightened down and it actually works really well. So right now it's in neutral and then that is uh, second and then back into neutral. It, the only thing it doesn't do is return super well, but it does like get out of the shift point. So there's no problems there. And then, um, yeah, I'll just kind of walk you through it. So we remounted our clutch so it's really nice and not held on by electrical tape. And then we have just a like heim joint tie rod end going back to the like hard rod going through another tie rod end. So that keeps this bar extremely straight, which then pushes the cable in and out dead straight and doesn't bend at all. So that gets rid of our main weak point. Then it just comes back here. We have a lot of excess. And then it just goes to the back. We lengthen the lever arm for the shifter so it's less stress on the shifter. And yeah, it's pretty simple, but it should be really strong. She died, but yeah, it's just really well now. Uh, really nothing to worry about. Basically exactly what we wanted from the first time. So yeah, this thing might actually be complete. So we put a lot of work into the deuce this video and it all turned out super well and is really solid. So we definitely need to chest this thing out a little bit more. So stay tuned for next video because we'll actually be thrashing this thing, taking it off road, really seeing what it's made of. Thank you to Power Sports. A lot of these parts on this build are from Go Power Sports and we couldn't do it without them. And thank you all for watching. And make sure you stay tuned for next time.